morning, sir. Uh, today it's uh, once again time for the senseless survey. Oh, I love ah, the yeah. senseless survey. <laughs> love it. Okay, I've decided to go global. Oh, ah. right. I've decided to take it to the United Kingdom. I called up a random Mr. Smith living somewhere in London. Hello. Good day, sir. How are you today, Mr. Smith? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mr. Smith. <laughs> you sound a bit dubious already, sir. Well, I, got, I get call, you know, get five calls every bloody day from somebody I don't know. It's just a pain in the arse, to be honestly, <laughs> frank. Well, sir. Um, so, uh, and I'm up a ladder trying to paint, so it's really inconvenient as well. I apologise for that, sir. I'm phoning from the Census Bureau of the United Kingdom. Uh, well, hang on, this is the National Census? Yes, sir. <sighs> is it normally conducted by phone? Yes, it is, sir. We do not go out to houses anymore for security reasons. Um, how do I know? I mean, you, <laughs> I don't know you from Adam. Do you know what I mean? So I am do... I supposed to... Uh, if I, you're going to be asking me for some personal details, I expect. No, sir. These, these, are, these are just general questions that can help the country. We're not worried about your, in any personal details of yourself. Okay, sir. well, go ahead then. Okay, sir, would you buy a product called a banana straightener? Well, no. Okay, if you ate pasta with antipasta, would you still be hungry? Um, probably not. Because they could cancel each other out. Are we a slow... Uh, uh, well, no, antipasta, it comes before pasta, <laughs> then you eat it. the pasta. So, I'd have eaten quite a lot. I'm not a very big eater, so it doesn't mean what you said. Okay. Are we a slow society because man walked on the moon long before we discovered you could put wheels on luggage? Oh, this has got nothing to do with the census. It's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Uh, good day, sir. Sorry, we seem to have lost the line there. No, I put the phone down. <laughs> I can't see what, these, what good these questions are doing. I don't understand. So these are all questions uh, specifically designed to benefit this country, sir. And, and oh, I don't understand. I mean, how? <laughs> I mean, that last question was absurd. So, if a book about failures does not sell, is it considered a success? <laughs> well, it depends who's considering it. I expect the author might think it was a success because he'd finished it. And so, if you were colorblind, what color would you see when you were angry? <laughs> well, <sighs> red. But you were colorblind. An indeterminate shade of blue or green. Uh, so what does indeterminate mean? Um, it's difficult to judge. Uh. What? What indeterminate means? Uh, well, it's obviously difficult for you to judge what indeterminate means, otherwise you wouldn't have asked me the question. Yeah. I know what indeterminate means, but you don't, obviously. Yeah, well, that's why I was just asking you. Yeah, it means it's hard to determine. Um, are, are you still up the ladder at the moment? No, I'm standing in the kitchen with two paintbrushes drying in my hand, so you better be quick. <laughs> OK, well, if a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, what does six birds in the bush worth? <laughs> well, anybody's prepared to pay for them, I suppose. OK, if your body is a map of England, which county is your pancreas? Um, probably Humberside. Bit lower, Lincolnshire. If people in Poland are called Poles, why are people in Holland not called Holes? <laughs> Should Toblerones be legalized? They are legal. I mean, these are all very good questions for uh, people who don't have an education, aren't they? Okay, well, if you owned a fork made of gold, could you still call it silverware? Call it what the f*** you like. Do you think Jamaicans only talk like that when tourists are around? <laughs> Name three countries that the Salvation Army has invaded. Who was the greatest ping-pong player of all time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful.